What role does Nepal as a country play in the world? Well, it has played a very important role. I, uh, I will tell you one example. Long back, in the United Nations, when I was ambassador, there was this question of Palestine and Israel, always. We were the one in Asia, among very few, I think it was Thailand and Burma, who were also on the same line, that we said that Israel as a state has to survive, but at the same time a state for Palestinians should be there and they should remain friendly, non-aggressive. Then, and then among the Netherlands countries, many of the people came to us and said that you should boycott Israel, you should break diplomatic relations with Israel, and we said no, that's wrong. It's the creation of the United Nations after looking at the history of Jewish people, how they survived. That's why we think that Israel's existence is very important, very necessary. So we cannot break diplomatic relations with Israel. And if those who are breaking it, they will repent later on. And, you know, we proved right. So that was a very important part. Another important part was that Nepal has always pleaded in favor of rights of the small countries and rights of the poor countries to develop. And even in the law of the sea, Nepal has played an important role to provide uh, some sort of rights to the landlocked and durable uh, disadvantaged countries. Did you play a role uh, in negotiating with the, between the government and the Maoists? Yes, I was uh, nominated by the government then, and uh, we tried our best to bring the Maoists to the main stream of politics. And did you succeed? No, no, no. Um, I, I uh, didn't succeed when I was. Uh, during the negotiations, of course, I pleaded a few things, but then later on, uh, I, so there was success. So I think, I, I don't think that I can take the credit that I had contributed something, but it might have given them some thought. I, when you were negotiating, did you m meet with the head of the Maoists? No, but second head, Babu Ram Bhattarai, who is supposed to be, he is the vice president of the party, supposed to be the leader who is second to Prachanda, the chairman of the party. Have you met Prachandra? Yes. Can you tell us something about him? Well, I think uh, he has a very good vision. He is visionary and uh, he is pragmatic as well. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think he uh, retains the same type of command in the party that he had during the war. So, otherwise, I think that is still among the party leaders. He is one of the leaders who has uh, forethought about country's progress. Can you tell us a little bit about the political situation in Nepal over the past year mm -hmm. since Nepal has transitioned to uh, parliamentary rule and abolished the monarchy? Well, it's very unfortunate that in spite of the hope that we had, we have not been able to make the peace agreement sustainable in, until now. So still we have to do something to sustain it. 
but uh, I think things are bound to improve. In the beginning, in, for last uh, almost two years, there has been so many problems and particularly the question of security and peace has been very difficult in Nepal. Between who? Peace and security, you know, general. People are being killed, people are being maimed. People, uh, every day there is some bad news. Is it like general crime? or Yeah. Or there are some people fighting for something? No, crime as well as, you know, even in the garb of politics, crime has been, you know, become a phenomena, very important phenomena. So these are the things that we have to curb. Uh, but uh, of late, I think the, the signs are that they have come to realize, mainly the politicians, that they have to work together. And unless they work together, they cannot improve the situation. So that's why I am optimist. That yes, of course, uh, I'm not very optimist that the constitution will be finalized uh, as it was uh, supposed to be finalized in May. But uh, maybe another six months it will take. But then I think things will be better. How is the Constitutional Assembly process working? No, that's the problem. They are not working at all. Uh, if they, all the three important parties, as they have realized that they have to work together, if this really, after this realization, if they start working together, then I think it's a matter of a few months. The main problem is that the parties, the three major parties, are so different and they have not been able to cope with the problems that we have. What are the three major parties? The largest party in the Constituent Assembly is CPN Maoist, the second largest party is the Nepali Congress and third last large party is Communist Party of Nepal United. How many countries have you been to? <laughs> Almost 100 I would say. But still another hundred is left. <laughs> you want to get them all? No, if I can, yes.